Robbie, you mentioned that you enjoyed putting messages in bottles, putting yeah. them into the sea. They weren't always plastic bottles, were they? No, no. Glass and... Yeah, um, glass and tins and anything that floated. Yeah. Of course, we don't encourage you to do this nowadays. It's, fr <laughs> it's a bit more frowned upon um, than it was. But you got, mess you got replies to yeah. your messages in bottles. And we're very, very lucky that you have kindly donated this book of replies to the museum. So it's always a very popular object to bring out. So if we open it up, we can see... That's you? That's me, yeah. <laughs> and this is one of the examples of messages that you would have sent out with your, in your bottle. So it's to whoever finds this message to write back to you at the lighthouse that you were serving on at the time. Am I right in thinking that you, you, you worked on 27 different lighthouses? Yeah. You started when you were 27? Yeah. And you worked for 27 years? Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? What a coincidence. Um, so we'll, we'll just um, have a little flick through now to see the different sorts of letters. There's a real variety, isn't there? Some people from Lare. Yeah. Some Locaine. people from, yeah, some, um, some from Jersey, Gern, Jersey, Gern, yeah, France, Holland, Portugal, Norway, um, Denmark, all over, America. Yeah, tell us Scotland about the world. So the, the, the furthest reply that you received sort of in Port Florida from, was from for Port Florida. Fort Lauderdale, was it? Fort Lauderdale in Florida. Florida, yeah. in Florida. Yeah. So tell us about the sort of, sort of route that that bottle might have taken to get there. Well, I, I think it would have probably gone round and up by Scotland that way in, in the Gulf Stream. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but otherwise it would have had to go um, right across the Atlantic, past the Silly Isles that way. And I, I doubt whether it would have gone that way. I think where all the other bottles are ending up in Northern Ireland and, and um, around that part, I think it would have gone round that way. Yeah. So in between Ireland and Scotland, yeah. and then over the top, then yeah. down. Yeah. And it took about 14 months, didn't it? Yeah, Just over a year. A, yeah, this. let's let's get that one. So Florida. And it was actually a German. Yeah, it was a shame who, it was German because it might have got more publicity in America. <laughs> so Florida. So here we are. My German's not really up to much. Um, but the, you can see the address at the top. Lauderdale by the sea. And another extraordinary one, Robbie, was the Norway one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. So, this is it, is it? the Norway... Yeah. The Norway one um, was clearly sort of travelling yeah, up the fjords. Let me show you where it went. I can't. This is a map, anyhow. Yeah. It shows you. Uh, I don't know, I can't see now. Oh, there it is, and it went, um, yeah, I think that's where it went. Yeah, yeah. Here, fine. here we found the yeah. po postcard or letter yeah. bottle. Um, uh, let's find one from a bit more nearby. Um, Um. Oh yes, here we are. Dear Robbie, I found this on the beach opposite the Larry Hotel <laughs> on the 11th of May 1986 at 7am. Sorry for the delay, but I put it aside and forgot. You can buy me a pint in the Crown next time we meet. <laughs> And you, you, you've had friendships with people yeah, who yeah. found your messages as yeah. well, haven't you? Yeah. That you're still friendly with today. Yeah, that lady came over and looked around the museum and saw the book in Candy Museum, eh? Yeah. She was German, lived in France, but she's gone to live in Germany again now. So that's amazing that it sparked, you know, yeah, lifelong I'm still, I'm still, friendships. Yeah, I'm still in touch with quite a few people. From, yeah. yeah. And one of them, was that, one of the messages was actually found by another lighthouse keeper. Yeah, yeah. 